So now I'm just going to do a short video about how to wire in a Grundforce condensing pump. Uh, I opened up the box yesterday to find there's no instructions at all how to wire in electronically or electrically. Uh, so I had a quick look on YouTube last night and uh, had a look at some uh, various posts on the internet last night and I, I just couldn't find how to do it reliably. So uh, anyway, managed to find out and uh, here we go. So uh, you get two wires with these condensing pumps. You get one with either two blacks or these two here. Uh, and then you get a power lead. So the power lead, as you can see, has been wired into the fuse spur. And the other one goes into the uh, boiler. Uh, and I'll show you in a minute, once we get this fed into the boiler, how, how exactly that works. Okay? Okay, so here we are inside the uh, Worcester boiler. Obviously make sure you've got the power turned off, which we do. Uh, and we are taking the live wire from the fuse spur out of this connection here, which goes into the boiler. And we're putting it into a connector block here with one of these wires from the condenser pump. And these two wires from the condenser pump um, are just a, a, a float switch, a high level float switch, which is like a cutout. Um, so the switch is normally, um, uh, it is normally touching. And what you want to happen is when the condensing pump overflows, it breaks that switch. And therefore, when we put the second wire into the live wire, we've just taken the fuse spur wire out of, and that will actually cut the power if the level of water gets too high in the condensing pump. Uh, and that's all you need to do, really. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Uh, and just a, another point, this is it all wired in, but what I did forget to say <coughs> is if you've got any third party controls, like a wireless stat, that will remain in the live, um, the incoming live from the fuse spur here. <coughs> and you just add the second switch wire from the high level float into that. Okay, so effectively when that, when that switch breaks, it will break the power to the boiler and stop any more uh, condensate getting into the pump. Okay, it's just a safety feature. Thanks, bye.